Well, hello again. I haven't been about for a while. I do apologise. Um, I've literally not had anything to video um, or anything I think of. But that's going to change today because I've had something just arrive that I bought off eBay. Now, shout out to my mate Rob who uh, went to an auction and bought a load of Meccano and got me thinking, ah, I used to have Meccano. Now, I never liked Meccano particularly. It was something... Every now and again, that was a toy I'd grab and make, and it was always a bit, wasn't really my thing. Anyway, all I have remaining that I've found so far is the uh, leaflet. The Meccano Combat Construction Set, because I was, I was always a bit of a, a bit of a, a, a warry little bugger. Um, so usually I've got guns for birthdays, Christmas, and that sort of thing. Toy guns, not real ones. Um, I did ask for a cannon repeatedly many Christmases in a row I never got one never got the bagpipes either um, they weren't boy anyway so combat multi kit I thought right okay I had um, a few moments of my childhood making different models in here you know um, some of which I can remember some of which I can't so I thought well, I'll see about getting a set on on eBay, this this is this is nice. I like that. Yeah. So I had a look through with the express intention of building a spotter plane to stick up in my train room. So let's see what we've got in the box. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you a review of the um, combat multi kit, or rather, the army multi kit, which I bought. Um, the army multi kit was bigger, had more pieces, I believe. The only downside is it had different wheels, um, which is a lot chunkier. Anyway, the, the, um, I haven't opened it yet, so some's coming out. Oh, I've got the book. The book with all the models in, that's a lot thicker. There's a lot more you can do with that. So stick that to one side. And still got the decal sheet. Complete, and undamaged. And... A little bit of paper about sprocket wheels. Now, the box was damaged, so he hasn't he hasn't included the box. I've just got all these bits that he's bubble wrapped on. So we'll tip them out nice and carefully and start unwrapping. Well, I've got absolutely oodles kit in here. I haven't got the box, which is a pity because that'd be good, but if I had I'd have paid a lot more money for this kit, which appears to have everything brand new perfect mint condition these plates haven't been bent which is something that the instructions called for on quite a lot of bits um the screws and, and nuts and bolts and god knows what that's all still sealed in the original bag there's a cab that came with this kit that's unmarked on the perspex so that's good you've got a plastic form seat you've got sprocket wheels and caterpillar tracks and various rods and stuff so um yeah i'm gonna have a look through the meccano army multi-kit book of models in a little while and have a look to see what there is because look at that i like that one armored scout car that wasn't in the combat multi-kit i'm not bothered about the lorry I'm not a, not a cargo man um mobile anti-aircraft gun that's not it's not quite the same as my granddad was on but I could maybe do that half track truck that's a silly idea ambulance tank i don't like the tank model particularly i look a bit funny with the turret but it's quite cool i'd have probably made that about 20 times it's a mobile searchlight when i was a kid field gun with limber that's pretty cool um it was a heavy tank that's what they called a was it a uh, oh, oh, assault, assault gun, uh, self-propelled gun, something like that? Um, yeah, so anyway, there's loads in there, loads of different missile launch truck with a spring <laughs> and a battery. Oh, <laughs> so anyway, that's all looking quite good. So the spotter plane is what I'm ultimately going to put on display however we're going to begin i think with the armored scout car because that looks awesome that's from the original kit and there's a second reason in that there only seems to be one bit that requires bending on it 
And that was one of the things I didn't like with this kit as a kid. Because basically you had to bend the panels here and there. And that meant that you ruined them. Because you can never bend them flat again. My dad's still got all his old Meccano from when he was a kid in the 50s at home. But this was the only set I ever had. And like I say, most of it has disappeared, if not all. Right then, let's make a start. Armoured Scout car it is. Well, this is clearly made for younger eyes than me. I can't clearly see how that goes together. So I've got my reading glasses out. And I'm going to give it a go. Do, do, do. Well, there's the first plate made. Four nuts, four bolts, four pieces of flat green stuff. That's taken me about 10 minutes. I've had to do and undo everything a few times. The nuts and bolts being new are really difficult to put together as well. And I keep having to take things apart, look at the instructions again and try and sort it out. Now I've got to do the same for the other side and then put it onto a plate and then that's step one complete. It's not the instant gratification of Lego, is it? There we go, square one done. What a faff, what a pain. I even had to get tweezers out to get that bolt in there. Sheesh. The bit I didn't like as a kid and didn't like now, bending a piece. Perfectly good piece, got to bend it around a pencil. Just gives an angle. Well, following much swearing, cursing, repetition, redoing stuff, moving stuff around, changing stuff and so on, I've got the main chassis wheels and deck made so it's on at the turret next this is taking me forever so there we go it's fairly good although the wheels are a bit sloppy to be fair but that seems to be part of the design there doesn't seem to be any more space to push the axles in well there we go finished it took about three hours swearing and moaning complaining reminding me just how much i disliked meccano as a kid no instant gratification here no fiddle dd an easy rectification of errors so not like lego and actually the other thing i didn't like even when you do the job properly when you've got a nice potential looking model Still as full of holes as the bloody instructions. Anyway, that's my armoured scout car. If I was going to um, want to play with this again, with this entire kit, which cost me 25 quid, by the way, you can pay more. I did quite well because there's no box. It'd have to be very small because all I've got panel wise is one tiny wingy one and one angle. I've got. The cab, the uh, interior, some tracks, and lots of nuts and bolts and bits and bobs. Oh, sorry, two of these, but that's it. And there's no room really for me to add anything to it, although I might. There may be a, maybe a flag pole. That could be good. Maybe attach that. Nah, that looks rubbish. Maybe a. A breech block on here, but in general, the car is pretty much what it says on the tin. <laughs>